Alrighty, so here it is on the 35 inch tires. I'll kind of talk to you guys about the wheel specs, tire specs, and then kind of what we had to do to make these fit. And then later in the video, we'll go and kind of try to text, test the articulation out front and the rear. Um, I don't have the greatest test, but, uh, but yeah. So the wheels are 17 by nine and a half. They have a minus 18 millimeter offset and I believe a 4.75 backspacing. I'll put a, uh, I'll put a correction if that's incorrect, but it's four something. Um, so that allows it to stick out a decent amount. And then um, we can go full lock inside here and uh, it will not interfere with the control arm or the frame. And then up front, is kind of the main area where we ran into just a slight issue. Originally, the Jeep comes with these guys here and they sort of kind of fill this area and the tire was rubbing into this. So basically we took this out and then that allows it to have no clearance issues when you're, when you're steering the Jeep. We did modify these if you wanted to keep your inner inner piece here, you could, and you just modify it by cutting it all the way around here. And then this piece can just go right back in here, bolt it up. We'll be probably doing that uh, in another video, uh, but for now, we just kind of have it open because just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of what that looks like. But I think it looks excellent. Jeep looks really good. So this is on 35s and completely stock suspension. So driving around town in the street, no rubbing issues at all. And like I said, we're going to be taking it out in the front yard and trying to articulate as much as I can here. He also had the bed bed lined from Linex, I believe. So that looks really nice. It's a nice, uh, sturdy material which is pretty cool but yeah so now what we're probably going to do we're probably going to pull it out in the front yard and we're just going to test the articulation see how far up these will go see how much it rubs uh, if you were going to be obviously taking it off road and uh yeah so anyway we'll see you guys in the front yard all right so we got our out in the front yard here kind of take you guys down to ground level As we come up here, obviously this is about as articulate as I can get it here, but so far it's 100% clear all up front here. And we'll show you guys in the rear. There's so much clearance. There's still some room in between there and then still room here. So it's not touching yet, but obviously if you were to really, you know, really do it up, you'd probably start rubbing, but uh, not bad for 35s on stock suspension with the stock Sport S uh, fenders. If you were to get the Rubicon flares, you'd even get more clearance up in the front. But, uh, but yeah, for what he's gonna be using this truck for, mainly hauling stuff and uh, maybe the occasional off-road, I think this will do just fine for him, so. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Can definitely consider subscribing for more uh, videos on the Gladiator. And uh, anyway, guys, we'll see you guys in the next video.